Hi, everybody. Ms. Lee here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and go over uh, Unit 8 Progress Track uh, Multiple Choice Part A, question number three. So this one says, what is the area of the region in the first quadrant bounded, by the, uh, bounded on the left by the graph of x equals y to the fourth plus y squared and on the right by the graph of x equals 5y? So when we're looking at this type of question, what you'll notice is that uh, they did it in terms of y, but then it also says at the top that you get to use a calculator. So the question is, how do we use a calculator uh, when the uh, graphs aren't in the terms of y equals? So I'm going to do a little trick uh, where I'm going to go ahead and switch the x's and y's. And so in the y equals, instead of putting x equals blah, 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 in terms of y's, I'm doing y equals blah, 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 blah. So basically, I'm switching the x's and y's for both equations. You have to do it for both equations. So over here, I'm going to do y equals uh, x to the fourth plus x squared. And then over here, I'm going to put 5x. And so when we're graphing it, what it's basically going to do is give us a look of this graph, but in terms of um, y or x instead. So um, when you're looking at that graph, you can see that easily that the first intersection point is 0, 0. And so when we're writing this, we're going to end up doing the integral from 0 up to and then some point right there. So whatever point right there. So it'll be of the graph of 5x because that one's on top minus and then the graph of y to the fourth plus y squared since that one's on bottom. So we'll go ahead and find that other intersection point up there real fast. So second calc. And then we go down to intersect. First curve, press enter, second curve, just press enter again. And then you want to get kind of close to it. Then you press enter and it gets you 1.516. So 1.516. And then, of course, when you're on the main screen, you want to do X and then store it into some letter, any letter. Uh, then you do your math nine. So math nine of and then zero to alpha B of and then uh, you can go and see what which ones you put as which. So Y2 minus Y1. OK, so this should be. These should be the same variables, by the way. So this is the x. So we put y2, so y bar. So for variables, variables, go right to y variables, and then do y1. So y2 minus y1 dx. And that gets you 2.983. So your answer is 2.983. And that is answer choice A. Okay, so let me know if you have any questions. Happy day.